now that I've got that done, uh, basically I'm sort of done creating those source files. So I'm just going to switch over uh, to a blank and empty session of Mastercam. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load up uh, my laser, my machine. So there's my Mitsubishi laser. Okay. Uh, I'm not going into the machine group properties yet. I'm not, you know, you know, selecting any tools or anything. This is going to be set up purely as a nesting operation. So once I've got a machine loaded in, I now have my toolpath nesting function available for mill. Yeah, again, even though this is a laser, it's still the mill module we're doing this in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my nesting button here. And the first thing it's going to ask me is, of course, is just to define the basic sheet. Um, and we'll just do 96 by 48 because that's, that's just sort of the standard and that's fine. But you can have all kinds of preloaded sheets in here that you need. Uh, grain direction, uh, I can choose to ignore uh, or have horizontal and vertical. Uh, so it just depends if, if this is wood, if this is uh, metal that is, you know, grain dependent and you want to stick with the grain, the grain lines up a certain way in the sheet, you can have that. Um, so I'm just going to leave that at ignore for right now. Uh, nesting corner, in this case, will be the lower left. But again, I can set that to sort of any of the square corners of my sheet. Just depends on where I'm touching off. Um, most large tables or gantry machines, it's lower left. That's pretty common. Uh, multiple corners, in this case, off. Um, a fill direction. Um, sheet to sheet distance, if I've got multiple sheets, is there a space between those sheets that I need to take into account. And of course, a sheet margin. So how close to the edge of the sheet am I going to allow the nesting to work? And we're going to go ahead and just put that at uh, two inches just, just to put a big number in there so we can clearly see that being applied. Right. So again, this is just about basically, you know, defining what my sheet's going to be. Um, then I'm going to switch to the second tab, uh, which is my parts tab. And this is when I can start pulling in parts. Now, if I'm doing this inside a, a program, um, again, where, I, where I've already got tool paths, and you can do it that way, and that's fine. Uh, I'd, I'd have operations listed here I could select. But since, again, I'm doing this in sort of a blank and, and fresh session of Mastercam, I don't have that. So I'm going to go find those, and I'm going to right-click in that field, and here's where I can go ahead and get into adding operations uh, from outside files or folders. And this is the whole point of us making those source operations. So operations from files, operational clusters, which we'll talk about in our second half, and operational clusters or files just from an entire folder. So you can just grab everything from a folder. Now I'm going to kind of do this one at a time because I've got more than just those source files in that folder. Um, so I'm just going to do operations from files. Uh, and then I just need to go ahead and remember well, sort of where I parked those, as I like to sometimes joke where I parked my car. And um, yeah, we'll get to them. I'm sure I've got them somewhere. There we go. Um, and there are those three source files I created, plus, of course, the, uh, the one you know, that has all, all the elements in there. Although I guess technically all three of them do. Um, so I'll go ahead and start with the base. And then again, uh, add operation from files. Just say FY, um, FYI. Uh, I can bring in more than one at a time. So this time I'll, I'll grab the end and the handle now that I kind of know where they're coming from. And again, those all three can come in. Um, so you can just sit there and control click or shift click and just pick kind of whatever source files you want. Now, what we're looking at here are those three distinct uh, contours, uh, you know, written for that laser or written with that laser. And when I've got one selected, it shows me what that operation is. And then down below, I can go ahead and dictate uh, a minimum quantity, uh, a filler quantity, uh, an angle I want that sort of held at uh, if I need to. Uh, to the right, I can determine grain direction um, for each individual part while it's highlighted. Um, and of course, just a basic part to part distance. Uh, I'm going to increase my, my basic part to part distance just so we can see it uh, up to, uh, let's say, 0.5, just to give myself a little bit more space. And for the base, um, we're going to pretend that uh, Marcus has asked us to make um, 20. Let's call it 10 toolboxes. 20 is probably too many. Uh, so we're going to need 10 of the base. So I'll go ahead and put 10 in there. Okay. Uh, for the end, obviously, uh, there's two per box. So I'm going to need 20 of those. And again, uh, grain direction I can kind of set while I'm there, part to part distance that carries over. Um, and for the handle, um, I'm going to go ahead and set the grain direction just to show that it's working. We're going to make all the handles horizontal. Uh, actually, let's make all the handles vertical. That might, might, 
they might fit better. Uh, just to see if they do show up, show up as you know, vertical, sort of laid out vertically. Uh, and again, for those, we're going to need 10 of those. So once I've got some basic quantities determined, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit my green check here to just kind of see what that initial nest looks like. Um, and you can see I made a little bit of a mistake here. Um, I told that one part that the uh, grain had to be vertical, uh, but I forgot to say that the sheet actually had a, a grain direction. So we'll put that to vertical as well, okay? And then we'll, we'll kind of see what that looks like. Now, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we get. We might have to fiddle that, but let's see what we get. There we go. Now, that put everything on two sheets. So I didn't get quite the yield I was looking for. So, so a few too many. So I'm going to say, hey, Marcus, we can't get quite so many out of there. So can we make five of those? Um, or Marcus says, hey, we've only got one sheet. So I guess we're just going to make five. Uh, the point being, I, I'm not married to this. Um, this is just sort of my first attempt here. So I can redo uh, my nesting if, I don't, if I'm not satisfied. And basically, you know, the thing is, hey, Marcus, we're just, it's not working so great. Um, I also noticed that um, our handles were not pointing up. So I'm going to put that to horizontal and um, sell my handles to vertical. And we'll kind of see what that does. So you just kind of fiddle around a little bit to get what you're looking for. So we'll go for five of those. Now we'll go for 10 of those. Probably should have realized that wouldn't fit, but that's okay. We're just kind of going through the process here to show you, you know, that even when you get down there, you're not done. And now we are getting those handles to go ahead and lay out vertically. So we do have some control over that. And that looks pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Now, I can't remember for the life of me how thick this material was supposed to be. Um, I think Marcus probably remembers, but I think it was about 30 thou or so. Um, so if I do want to take a look at this and verify, and again, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And again, I can save this as, again, its own unique part file. Uh, and we'll just call this nest test for starters. Although I think I already have one. We'll call this nest test two for starters, just you know, just so I have it saved. Um, if I do want to look at this in verify, um, I, I can go in and use sort of that laid out sheet as um, you know some stock. So we'll do that real quick and see if we're kind of happy with this. So again, I'm going to pop into my stock setup. I'll go ahead and just use a basic make from two points. And we'll go ahead and grab one corner there and then one corner there. And that gets me my 48 by 96. And then I'll just go ahead and put a little thickness in it. I'm at the top. Actually, we want to be at the bottom for that. So it's poking up. So the zero is at the bottom. And we'll just go ahead and put 30 thou. Um, again, I think that's the thickness. Marcus will probably correct me if I got that wrong. So with that done, I'll just pop open verify. And we'll just go ahead and take a look at those cuts. Um, again, it's, it's a very thin tool, so I'm not sure how much we're going to see. Uh, I, I do get a little error there with my collision tolerance because the tool is smaller than my collision tolerance. Uh, so that's fine. That's uh, nothing to worry about. And we go ahead and kind of take a look at that cut. And again, it's, it's kind of small, so there's not a whole lot to see. But it did do a nice job of popping those guys through. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, guys, so that's the first half of our presentation talking about nesting. Again, kind of a traditional nesting uh, approach there. Um, you know, real thin sheet, high yield, um, you know, uh, definitely something in the, you know, if this was on a router, even though we're doing it on laser, if this was a router or a water jet, you know, these are, these are things that, uh, you know, can be expected that we're going to be asked to do. And again, the nice thing about doing it this way is at any point I can I can do this over. I can go back into my nesting parameters at any point. I can play with the quantity. I can play with you know the sheet to sheet distance. Um, I can add more parts if they say, hey, we got some other stuff we want to throw on the sheet since we've got some leftover room. Um, you know this is this is kind of you know you can evolve this. You know um, you're not sort of married to the you know um, you know the initial programming so to speak. Um, you know this is all here for you. Um, and very repeatable very quickly. And again, the, uh, the ability it gives you to kind of do this again and again with different quantities, different parts. It's just a really, really nice way for that to all work.